Thanks, Gibby. We'll hear from another one of your 84 teammates in a moment. At this time, we ask you please turn your attention to the video board as some familiar faces from around the world of baseball share their congratulations for Alan Trammell. They say Babe Ruth was number three, but Alan Trammell's number three to me. So congratulations, man, on, on having your number retired. It was a pleasure playing beside you on the left side of the infield, uh, you know, even though I covered most of the ground. Thank you. You know what uh, you mean to me. You're one of my best friends. Uh, congratulations on a great career and well-deserved. Uh, you have been an inspiration to all Tiger people, and and now you're going to be an inspiration to all those that are in uh, the Hall of Fame. As part of the committee that helped select you into the Hall of Fame, and now all the things that are happening afterwards, it couldn't happen to a better guy. No greater honor could go to no better human being, and I'm extremely proud of you. And I'm extremely proud to say that I played alongside you. Hey, Alan, congratulations. I hear they're retiring your number. Very well deserved. I got a seat saved for you here at the Hall. I've always said you're one of the greatest players I ever played against. Uh, not only could you hit, you could field. Your determination, everything about you as a ball player uh, was fantastic. I just wish you were on my team. I know one thing. A couple weeks ago, the Hall of Fame became a better place. When you and Jack Morris were rightfully inducted, uh, you deserved it. You've been a great tribute to baseball. You've been a great tribute to the Tigers. Just want to say congratulations on your induction to the Hall of Fame. Well deserved. And uh, getting your uniform number retired today. Um, also well earned. Um, I sure did love competing against you uh, and those Tiger teams, uh, especially in 1984. Enjoy the day. If there was anybody that I could ever point to that I knew was going to make the Hall of Fame and deserved to be in the Hall of Fame, it was you. You just made the Hall of Fame better. You're one of the best players I've ever seen at Georgetown. It's long overdue, and I couldn't be happier for you. Thanks for all that you've done in my career as well. Thanks for everything you did for this franchise. I'm proud to wear the old English D because of players like you. I watch you work with the kids in the minor leagues, and whether they're a prospect or not, you're out there every day giving it your all. Whether the kid has a chance to play in the big leagues or not, you're out there working with him. That's pretty good. You get a Hall of Fame shortstop working with a kid that's probably not going to get out of eight ball. That's pretty impressive. You've been a great guy. Once again, a great tribute to the game, a great tribute to the Tigers. Congratulations on your special day. You sure have come a long way since that draft back in 1976. and. Our first spring train together in 1977, where we roomed together on the second floor up at Fetzer Hall. You know, you're a Hall of Fame baseball player, but you're an even better human being, teammate, and friend. Congratulations on all your accomplishments. One thousand nine hundred eighteen. That's a number of games Alan Trammell played alongside our next speaker. By far, the most ever for a double play combination. They turned 751 double plays together. As we honor the shortstop of that combo, I don't think Tram would mind if we take a second to mention that his partner ranks as one of the greatest second basemen in the history of the game by nearly every statistical measure. He's a five-time All-Star, three-time Gold Glove winner, a four-time Silver Slugger winner. Please welcome number one, Lou Whitaker. I've got a couple autographs I want Tram to sign for me and himself, so that will stay with me forever. First this morning, we want to thank everyone for coming out to support Mr. Alan Trammell, one of the Detroit Tigers' greatest players that played in my generation. Yeah, Mr. K-Line, he was in here, so... He will always be Mr. Tiger to all of us. And of course, I'm going to mention Willie Horton, too, because he's done so much to this city and to the team. There's another one here. We want to show some respect for Miss Aretha Franklin, Detroit all-time legend. 
here in Detroit and around the world. But today, we're here to recognize best short in Detroit Tiger history. Number three, Alan Trammell. I had the privilege to play with Tram side by side for 19 years. And it was 19 of the best years of my baseball career. It's an honor to be here speaking and giving recognition to this fine, upstanding, all-American shortstop. You, the fans, and around the league, had the privilege to watch Tram's performance day in and day out. And I know that you were uh, enjoyed the most uh, momentous days in baseball history played here in Detroit. I'm sure, Tram, all your family and friends here today and in San Diego are as proud of you as we are today. So, Tram, all my people of NASCAR country in Martinsville, Virginia, and Henry County think you are the best shortstop that ever played. So now we're just going to give it to Tram and let him share his tears here with you today. Tram.